In the previous episode, we spoke of the Barber Paradox and Rosario Shaved. We stepped on axioms and strolled along ancient path. We met a shepherd, an artisan, the gossip master and a sheep. Our professor got side climbing a castle and mentioned a piece of mathematics called set theory. And that was it. Today, set theory, paradoxes and the small town mayor. And this is math. In the last episode, we said that axioms are some sort of foundation for all mathematics, or at least for some parts of it, and that mathematics would then be built on top of these foundations. We also said that while piling axioms, a castle starts to rise, and by that time we mentioned the set theory. Set theory is a field of mathematics that studies collections of objects, and it was used to create the foundations for almost all mathematics. One of the greatest enthusiasts of this type of construction was the philosopher and mathematician Bertrand Russell. Still, while puffing his pipe, he eventually realized that this type of construction would inevitably run into absurdities, like the Barber Paradox. Of course, that mathematicians didn't immediately let it go. For some years on, they tried to solve this problem by creating more and more foundations, that is, adding more axioms. Only in the early 30s, after the work of Einstein's buddy Kurt Gödel, the dream was finally abandoned. In essence, Gödel showed us that there will be assertions that one cannot prove correct, nor can prove to be false. Being that there will always be stones that won't fit the castle's wall. And the big problem is, we don't know which ones are. Paradoxes are, above all, good fun. And I assure you, mathematicians love to have fun. It's a bit like mocking at her own weaknesses. In this case, rationality weaknesses. Let's end this double episode with one of the paradoxes I like best. One day, the local mayor receives a call from the village's human tabloid, bearing the news that, during that week, the minister of things will be doing a one-day surprise visit to the village. Hello, Mr. Mayor, are you sitting down? <laughs> but since it's a surprise visit, she didn't say when. Feeling short on time to prepare a dignified welcoming party, the mayor starts to panic. But suddenly, he gets confused. The mayor is now thinking about on which day he is to hire the folk band. If the gossip lady said the minister will pay a one-day surprise visit during this week, then it would be on Friday, because if he doesn't show up until Thursday, the mayor would know that the visit will be on Friday, hence killing the surprise. So Friday is off. Now, with Friday already out of the question, if the Minister of Things doesn't show up until Wednesday, then the mayor would know that it will be on Thursday. Thursday's on! Following this assessment, the mayor concludes that it wouldn't be on Wednesday neither, nor on any other day of the week for that matter. Friday's out, Thursday's out, Wednesday's also out, today is Tuesday. No party for, no party for anyone! In the end, the Minister of Things showed up on Wednesday, and it was welcomed by not. Anyone there? Isto and this is math. math.